Also some noise outside the prison walls as that death sentence was carried out. People gathered to pray for the convicted killer. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall was there. Rory opponents of tonight's execution say it was unnecessary and served no useful purpose, but people for the execution say this was long overdue and justice was finally served. How about your daughter, seven years old? It could have been your daughter. I mean, the Catholic Church teaches that even in the presence of heinous crimes, the person who committed the crimes retains a fundamental dignity and is made in the image of God and is capable of redemption. Therefore, the execution of a person, even one guilty of a, of a terrible crime, is an offense against God, an offense against the dignity of the person. People gathered on different sides of a fence in a field outside of Riverbend Maximum Security Institution. This comes as Billy Ray Eirich, who was convicted of raping and murdering seven-year-old Paula Dyer more than 30 years ago. About 60 opponents gathered in a circle for a candlelight vigil, moment of silence, and prayed for both Eirich's and Dyer's family. They say what he did was a heinous crime, but all human life essentially should be spared. One man for the execution repeatedly shouted, what if it was your daughter? Another played the song Hell's Bells by ACDC, saying it was a fitting song for what Eric did to Dyer. When you look at what Billy Ray Eicher did, was he raped a seven-year-old girl and then strangled her until the blood vessels in her eyes burst. That deserves an execution. Many say that they hope the death penalty will finally be taken out of law, will eventually be taken out of law here in Tennessee, the United States, and then around the globe. The next scheduled execution in Tennessee will happen on October 11th when Edmund Zargoski will be put to death for a double murder back in 1983. We're at the Five Alert Center tonight, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.